Well, hello everyone, and welcome to something a little bit new. Uh, this is Nightingale. Now, uh, just a little bit of a heads up, there's a few things I want to make clear before we start. Um, this game is early access. It was just released earlier today. Uh, there is uh, an expectation that we may run into issues. That is not to reflect on the quality of the game. Uh, I should, I'll should. i also tell you that I have participated a little bit. I uh, did some uh, play in the uh, closed beta. I think it was called the closed beta early off. I'm not exactly sure what they called it. But uh, it was. they did some testing, some play tests. And uh, myself, Dread, uh, Bish, and Niobe, actually, we did some co-op testing. And so, yeah, it, it's a, it's an interesting game. And I like the art style. I like the ideas behind it. Um, I, I, I have hopes for it. So uh, I think we should probably, I want to take a look. <laughs> we're going to try it out. So we're going to make a new profile. Oh, it is kind of the uh, little background. This is, uh, I think, the art style. They call it gas lamp. If I remember correctly, gas lamp fantasy or something like that. It's kind of like a steampunky thing, but gas lamp style, uh, I believe is what it is. Uh, and it, it has to do with um, uh, an alternate world, alternate universe where human and fae coexisted a bit or there was some crossover and uh, something something bad happened. <laughs> we won't, we'll get into the details more. For now, though, we need to make somebody. Oh. Actually, that's uh, quite the dashing character as a first shot, to be honest with you. <laughs> I like him. He's, he's not bad at all. Um, you know, how often does that happen? <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, you can select basics, uh, body type, default appearance. Uh, options cannot be changed after finalizing for now. Though they plan to add support. As, as I say, this is a, the game's early access, and there's there are some gaps. Um, of, for, with th things that they're working on. So we got to give them op an opportunity to uh, work on those things. But it, it's nice to be able to get... I like getting early access because I, I enjoy seeing it, the, a game develop. Um, all right, now, uh, next, Womp. Uh, we can... Okay, so we can go with uh, archetype, so the body type. I'm actually... You know what? This is the default. I don't know if this is everybody's default, but... I suspect it's random, but I'm, I'm kind of digging this character. I think he looks pretty snazzy. Um, even the hair is not too bad, <laughs> which is really weird. <laughs> I know that they've got some interesting hairstyles. Uh, for age, eh, we could we can make him really kind of crusty. <laughs> you know, um, more closer to my, my actual age and the end. We will go in this regional area here. Um, or we could, uh, we could give him a, a, a new, a relatively new lease on life. I think we're just going to go with that. Not, not too young, not too old. Well, we'll go with that. His date of birth apparently is 1852. He's pretty good for 1852. Uh, voice. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I turned down the, yeah, I turned down the volume because of the music being kind of loud, but all games, they always have the music cranked up in, in the, uh, in early before you can adjust it. All right. Um, okay, so there's two. Voice set one is dude. And voice set two is lady. Okay, we'll just go with dude. Um, I think I accidentally used a lady vo lady's voice in one of my te play tests. I, I must admit it was it was it was funny. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I, we don't worry about those things. It was hilarious. <laughs> Um, although very distracting at a certain point because it's just not what you expect. Now, um, back, oh, right, that's right, there's a sort of a background. Uh, academic, uh, statesperson, you know, okay, uh, academic, sciencey guy, uh, government guy, <laughs> uh, salt of the earth, good, good guy, <laughs> a crazy guy that hides in the woods, <laughs> authoritarian, and criminal. <laughs> oh, and, and, you know, a uh, dude that basically doesn't, you know, footloose and fancy free, which we'll call him. Uh, so those are the, the, the basics. Uh, what is it? So well-versed physical sciences, time spent among blah, blah, blah. I might go with academic just because statesperson, no. I would go with tradesperson, actually. I like the idea. I like tradesperson. The hermit sounds interesting, too. So, um... Work the land, foraging comforts of modern life, social decorum in favor of social sufficiency. 
and then an officer, so yeah, and then the ne'er do well. I've never really taken the the the, uh, the criminal path. I'm not going to start now. And a vagrant, um, relegated to streets and worse workhouses. Uh, are there no workhouses? Uh, your lot in life has been begging, scrounging, long stints of tortured manual labor under the cruel watch of the guardian. I mean, that's not a bad little backstory, actually. Um, you know, uh, what are they, you know, like a rise to fame from the, you know, yeah. But, um, I think, you know, academic, I think I'm just going to go with, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go with vagrant. I, I, I like the idea of, you know, from ranks to riches. Um, it's kind of cool. All right. Lineage. Oh, they've, they've actually done a little bit of work with this. So you can actually, this is cool. So you can select parents. So let's say dad, we could make dad kind of look like, so there's you. And then you could have your dad look like somebody like that, or maybe like this guy, right? And, or, or that guy, uh, that's close enough. We'll go with, and then for the, for mom, uh, we could find somebody that's kind of very mom-like. Um, she's kind of cute. I kind of like that. That's kind of nice. We got, uh, yeah, we got, okay. Oh, yeah. She's kind of, okay, there we go. There's, there's mom, right? <laughs> Lineage. Okay, and then we can basically go with grandparents on one side. So if we go to, uh, maybe we could do something like... Um, this guy right here, and then for the for grandma, um, we could uh, go with. Uh, we had those two. There we go. Okay, and then over here we got granddad. We could go with. Uh, let's see. There's a definite. Oh, actually, that would come from this way. You know what? We're just gonna pretend that maybe there was a lot of familiarity. <laughs> <laughs> and then for grandma on the uh, the uh, matrilineal side, we could go with. Eh, she's kind of cute too. Oh, ah, you know what? I like that. That's kind of cool. So there we go. And uh, all right. And then I do we want to really keep going with this? I don't think so. But if I remember correctly, uh, you can go to inheritance, and then what you can do is you can actually. Um, you can balance your character out. So this is your current whatever, and then you could pull in features from the different uh, lineages, right? And let's see, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> wobble wobble! <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, he looks pretty snazzy. I'll go with that. We've got a lot of a lot of her going on in here. All right. You know what? That's fine. And then, of course, I think you can roll dice if you want to get interesting. Uh, next, we've got um, skin tone and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and essentially, you've got, you know, skin tone. We could go with, um, I don't know. I, I'll pick the, uh, I mean, a default. We could give him a nice tan. Oh, that's not a tan. Give him a nice tan. He's, he's like, uh, he, he's, he spent a lot of time outdoors. So he's going to be very, you know. He's gonna he's gonna have the sun. And he's gonna Oh, we don't have scars yet. Yeah, this is stuff that's coming. Tattoos we don't have yet. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get there. Um I like the hair color. I like uh a nice dark hair color. Yeah. Let's see if we can back up a little bit so you're not he's not so in your face. Hello. Why uh pleased to meet you. <laughs> Eyebrows. <laughs> Wild. We'll, we'll stick with them. We could go with white eyebrows, but I don't think we're going to do that because, you know, uh, we could go with the same color. You know, that, that sort of makes sense to me. Facial hair. Oh. Oh. That's not bad. Look at that big, bushy uh, mustache. And you could just imagine when he speaks, it goes poof, 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 and wiggles around. Or we could go with that, but I kind of like the big, poofy mustache. I like that. That's cool. Or we go with, ha ha, <laughs> you, you know, the three musketeers look, you know, I mean, it is quite dashing, but I still like this one or barkeep anybody or whatever, but, or, you know, this guy, he's a, a clerk. Uh, I think, I think I like, I like the big bushy mustache. I'm going with that. We're doing it. 
Okay. Whoa. <laughs> well, look at all the stuff we can do. So uh, forehead, we can do. I'm not going to do much. We're not going to fiddle with that. But you could, you could receding hairline. <laughs> Nose. Uh, basically, you could base, you could, you know, change the shape and the position. Um, you know, like, oh, uh, wow, it's way up there. Okay. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest with you. Bridge depth. Um, then you could go, you could make it like that or like that. I don't know. Middle. Medium. I, as I say, I'm not too worried about jawline. That is, I mean, take a look. That jaw, that is, you could, you could break bricks with that thing. It's all pointy and, you know, um, what else can you do? You can do like, <laughs> I kind of like it the way it was. I, I don't know. I don't remember where it was, but that's fine. But you can, you, there's a few things that you could do. Adam's apple, uh, chin strength and all of that. Um, yeah. So jawline, eyes. Whoa, man. You guys like right up in your, in your business. So you have eye presets. So you can basically pick out ones. I liked the um, green. I'm kind of a fan of green. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like this, this sort of pale green. And then there's like a turquoisey thing. I'm going to go with green. green. Look at it. Like he's looking deep into you right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then for this, I think it's... Uh, oh, okay. So you can change... Really? I kind of just like that. I kind of like that. I mean, we could go with... Is there like a hazel? Uh, no. Uh, you know what? We're just going to go with green. Um, I kind of, I like the, uh, it is kind of, it's got the green and the brown. Um, detail. Whoa. <laughs> oh, you could change. Oh, you could do like heterochromia, the, the, uh, different eye colors. Scale. Um, okay. So it's down here. We can go. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it the way it is. But yeah, there's lots of different things you can do. You could make his eyes all veiny. Uh, bloodshot, like he's, uh, you know, been staring at books for too long. Eye shape, eyelashes, you know, extension, mouth. You could do stuff. You can't see his mouth or teeth anyway, so... Oh, really? <laughs> Say, ah. <laughs> yeah, fine. Makeup. Uh, yeah, he doesn't really need makeup. Step three, starting circumstances. Um, they'll, they'll, will change and evolve with gameplay. Evolving online multiplayer experience. We'll be able to tune. Okay. Difficulty. I'm going to set difficulty. There's, all right. So there's easy, easy, medium, hard, and extreme. Oh, geez. Really? Seriously? Look at him. He's like, what in the, no. <laughs> I agree. I agree. What is this outfit? Ooh. Okay, the unprepared civilian vagrant. Uh, I, I'm going to go with medium. I tend to pick medium just because for first experience. The realm, uh, we're going to go with a medium realm. So the realm is kind of like your instance, your uh, the, the the setting. How, what is how, its difficulty? So uh, I think the game, the loadout difficulty, and then, oh, that's the loadout. So your equipment. And then the realm, medium power. Okay, and then so finalize. I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, oh, yeah, of course, we have to name him. He's Ono Koho. I mean, what else would he be called? There we go. Before time itself, ah. the realms have existed. Born of curiosity, we opened the first gateway to our endless That's Feywild. That's Puck. He's a fey. They have long since aided men in harnessing that which we live and breathe. Uh -huh. Magic. Yes. We were good buddies. Tolerance was known until your grasp extended reach. Oh, I think I think the I think the humans uh, asked Reed, a little too much. Yes. In the face of power. Yes. Saw your world caught in ruin. Yeah. And out flowed the pale. Yeah, that's the uh... Growing all in its path. <laughs> Some fled its ever spreading tongue, seeking refuge in Nightingale. Aha! Nightingale! Only to be severed from assistance as the pathway between realms collapsed. But ah, uh, 
Perhaps not all is lost, for Nightingale still stands, pushing forward towards progress and enlightenment, humanity's final beacon. Your yeah. path, oh, okay. Lilla, is winding and full of terror's nascent realm walker. Wilt thou succumb to fey lands beyond thy wit? Or wilt thou endure, find the way homeward, and rebuild anew? Okay. Will do, Puck. Will do. <laughs> so there's a little, it's a bit of an introduction. I, I was interrupting a bit in there, but yeah, it, let, him, let it play out. Um, crafting refinement stations require fuel to run, such as a campfire and brazier. Yes. Waiting for servers. Hopefully we're going to get access to servers, because... Uh, this is day one, and uh, you know how that can be. So, unknown realm. What? Um, realm cards. Okay, so. Um, really? Oh, this is the unknown realm. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the... F okay, continue journey. Sorry, I was used to... You, the realm is typically, like, uh, there's a... Oh, that's me! <sighs> Let my words steer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Puck is trying to, to help me out. This is a uh, this is a portal, right? We just came through it. I think we escaped from bad things. Um, so yeah, Puck is a, he's a fey. I think he's kind of a guide. Although I his 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 motivation I think is questionable. Um, I don't think there's too much in this initial realm. So why I was confused is because usually a realm consists of two cards. There's the biome that describes, you know what, we should probably move along. Uh, there's the biome that discover that, that describes the, uh, the, the type of, of, How of now, yeah, you get the idea. Fleshling. Okay. With a wonder you lost in our Feywilds. Anyways, but the biome and then the uh, there's a second card. There's two cards. Show uh, haste, human. <laughs> one defines the biome itself, like forest, desert, etc. The other describes the biome, difficulty levels, uh, various aspects of the actual biome. Quickly, I for those bound. Oh, fine. Oh, the bound. Your despair. Shadows uh, abound. Yet, like a fire's final embers, you refuse to be snuffed out. That's right. <laughs> oh, no. Now we get control over the dialogue a bit. So this is pretty cool. Okay. Um, I right. come with an offer to guide you to a safer realm and rebuke death, unlike so many of your kin. Okay. Take these bloodstained cards. That, that's nice. Play them and let amiable bond be drawn between Fay and Fleshling. See, this is the kind of thing that makes me wonder about Puck. The fact that he's handing me bloodstained cards. Okay? Like, where did he get them from? <laughs> How did he get these cards? Give me your hands that we may be friends. Uh huh. And I shall restore amends. Okay. All right. Friends. I'll sit. Okay. Hurry yonder toward portal and apparatus so you, bear child of Earth, might abscond this nightmare. All right, because this is a nightmare realm. Travel to the forest byway. Okay, we're going to the forest. Yeah. Across the divide, a greater gift awaits. Partnerships with we Fay afford many wonders yet unseen. All right, Puck. That's cool. Thank you. And I think he gave me a forest card and a byway card. So we go over to the card machine, and then here's your biome, right? And then if you put in the byway, which is a, it describes it, I think the byway is like a smaller, like transitory realm that you pass through. Uh, all right, let's open the portal. Okay, so. Fly, Realm You see that the right there? Have caught your yeah, those are the bad guys. Go! <laughs> when you go through the gate, sometimes you pull in bad guys, the bound. Yeah, it can be a bit, uh, they can be a bit interesting. 
Uh, one of the one of the well, I'm not really supposed to talk about. That. It, you know what? It doesn't really matter. But uh, it, it, you know, this is this is the uh, early access release, so some of the behaviors are a little different. I've also noticed something else different. I'm gonna try to take a closer look at it. All right, so we're going to the forest byway realm. Um, I believe this is the difficulty level, and then we have. I think that's what that is. Um, and then, so the forest biome, so it de de describes the nature of the biome and then the byway, which is that it's, yeah, a small transient realm. Exactly. This is the byway is just a little pass. We're just using it to get from A to B. And here we are. Oh, that's, uh, wait a minute. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello, friend. It says locate puck. Uh, what I was noticing is in my hot bar, one through five looks a certain way, and six through zero uh, is, is what is that? It, it, it's a divided. Do you see that? There's a little divider between the two. That, I don't recognize that. Okay, we've got, like, okay, you know what? Let's talk to Puck. Let's talk to him. Count thyself among the fortunate few who managed to flee the pale's noxious proliferation. Oh, I'm very fortunate. Yes, I, I agree. Nightingale still stands, but Earth teeters on the brink. Okay. And these wilds are far from hospitable. Sequestered so and struck by woe begs the question, wilt thou be a survivor? I what I, I mean, if you're going to help me, I hope so. The gift I promised should aid thy cause. A hermetic guidebook and pocket watch. Uh-huh. Purloined off the corpse of a yeah, realm yeah, walker. Yeah, yeah. Is it, this is, Keep again... Keep these like close companions. Again, again, like a corpse of a, a realm walker. It, it's, as I say, this is the kind of thing that makes me wonder about Puck. Like, he just goes around taking things from dead bodies. With the man-made network sundered, entrust me to find the trail forward through these byway realms. Okay. In the interim... I hear your stomach snarling. Take reprieve from misery and gorge yourself with a feast fit for a fleshling. Preserve yourself and I shall return anon. All right. Oh, under this mask, you wonder. I mean, I, I'll admit it. Yeah. I am Puck. Yes. Robin to some. Oberon's merry wanderer of the night. The last Furtive fay to grace your kind. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, yeah, but what is your motivation, Puck? Are you friend or foe? And you know, it, he is very stylish and classy. He, he, if you watch when he leaves, he'll come and visit us every once in a while. And um, okay, that's food. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Offhand items. Using offhand, you can hold small items uh, like this uh, and torches in your offhand. Is it in slot six? Oh, offhand. Is that my left hand? Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, hang on a sec. Consume. There we go. <laughs> now we got to get uh, rocks, sticks, and berries. Okay. You know what I'm also going to get? Flowers. That's fiber, actually. The sticks and boom, 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 uh, um, heart, something heart. I can't remember exactly what they're called. Eberhart or yeah, eh, they're they're deer, they're deer. All right, okay, four out of five, and there should be more bear. Oh, they're over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, more weed. I mean, uh, fiber. <laughs> now, where's the rocks? Were they there? Oh, here's some. Uh, down on the beach, I've always, uh, in early game, I've, I've had uh, luck. Oh, we could build a campfire. Um, why don't we go build a campfire near the, uh, the portal there? Do we have a map? 
We do. Okay, so there's a there's a portal. I mean, okay. Oh, look at that. It's actually showing my little path. Uh, but yeah, that's a portal. Okay, so we'll, we're going to head over to the general vicinity of the portal. Maybe grab a few more rocks because you never know when you're going to need them. Do, 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 do. And uh, so, okay, we're going to build a campfire. Um, yeah, see, there's there's the card machine again, the card reader thingy -ma bobber. Um, let us build a campfire. Uh, let's do it maybe right here. Um, okay. Uh, I don't remember exactly how to do some of this stuff. It's been a, a few, little, little while. So, uh, what, crafting, cooking, roast berries, um, system, party, building, crafting, campfire, place, right there. Okay. And then we can add materials to it to actually build it. So you put the ghost image down and then you add the materials. How to cook. Um, needs fuel, right? So E to interact with the campfire. Uh, select your recipe. Yeah, okay. If we hit E, we can add... We've got fiber and sticks. So I can do... I'm going to... Uh, what, was, what was shift again? Oh, man. I can't remember. You know what? Oh, shift to split. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll just do like a, a little bit. Confirm. There we go. Uh, light that bad boy up. And then you can go up, up up on the top here. And then you could say, I want to roast some berries, please. Uh, crap. Womp. There we go. Making some roast berries. Nice. Collect items. It says collect items. Now, do we have it in our inventory? Okay, so you actually do have to collect. No, 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 no. Ignite. There we go. We collected the items. Can I make more? Yeah, I need more berries in order to make more. Okay, that's cool. So we've got raw berries now. And uh, you know what? I'm going to put that in my inventory. And then we can have the berries there. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, eat the roast berries. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm, what I'm doing is... Uh, okay, we can just F. All right, fine. <laughs> it, it says down in the bottom right-hand corner. All right, uh, if you wish to disable the tutorial, uh, hit escape. Okay, not yet, not yet. Ah, you've avoided embarrassment by staving off starvation. Uh, you didn't see me. I From was the lingering fumbling. scent, your meal was no summer court banquet. But at least you persist. His faith in me is amazing. We must carry forth whilst this byway is aligned with another. One which should get us closer to necessities we'll both require. All right. The portal stands nearby. Delay not, for the withering sands await. Oh, the desert! Desert byway, yep. Okay. What? Oh, the fire! Oh! Am I on fire here? Let's see if we can go... I think I, I lost a bit of health. Oh, that's uh that's kind of rough. Um Ah uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go. So we now have a uh the major card, another byway card, and this time it's the desert. And uh womp. Come on, baby. Open. Okay. <laughs> You have to be careful. Sometimes the bound like to come out at you. They're, and they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're mean. They do mean things, though they do have resources that you can harvest from them. That is kind of interesting. Like they've got their own, own resources. Um, okay. So the desert byway realm. Oh, it's actually giving us more information than I thought it would. Oh, we got overview. So yeah, it's a, it's another, a byway. It's desert. So um yeah you get the idea you can read that but what what does it have ser o eoten a timber knot the young and kate kate katine okay all right well let's continue our journey whoa okay got to get out of the sun oh hey bud summer runs through my being as blood runs through yours Yet I've seen that dew men call sweat flow like rivers in our deserts. This heat devours spirit and life alike. 
Uh-huh. Well... How be it? Enduring the elements is part of the Realm Walker's folly. Pleasure sought through vanquishing hostility. Okay. Whether this pleases or not, without shelter Stick and the means to defend it, you'll not last long. Best to test your nesting prowess and avoid exhaustion while I scour for the next byway. All right, buddy. Off you go. Bye. See, then he dances away. And oop. <laughs> um, I think what we can do, uh, I, I, I always, it's the sounds that make me uh, nervous. So yeah, if I were to go into the sun, uh, basically it, I get, it, you start getting hot. There it is right there. And it does impact you. Okay. So, um, crafting or building, is it B for build? Yes, it is. Okay, we need to build a camp fire. Uh, not a tent. We're going to build a stick tent. We need sticks and plant fiber. Okay, so we're going to place this bad boy right... Wow, this is... Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> and then auto add. Now, what are we missing? Wait a minute. Uh, didn't I have a bunch of stuff? Oh, oh, okay. It just took a second. All right, we got ourselves a, a thing. Oh, we now we can make a bedroll. It just taught us how to make a bedroll. So we're going to build a uh, bedroll place, and I'm going to put it right in this little side right there. And then add the option. Now, we need more sticks. Okay, we've got the plant fiber, but we need the sticks. All right, let's see. Can I get... Okay, I can get sticks from these little guys and from over in the... We don't have an axe yet. I don't think I know how to make an axe yet. Yeah, I, I can't chop you. But over here, we've got a f <laughs> The sounds! Do, 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 And I think... Oh! Oh! These guys are cool. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> uh, I don't think he's... Oh, I'm, I'm hot. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Oh. I can't. Oh, I have to go over here. Oh, I made it. Oh, get out of the heat. Get out of the heat. Okay, there we go. We're back in cover. And there we go. Next. And resting. So the rest rests uh, buffs increases the comfort level of your bed increases. Uh, okay, actually it's... um. So resting. Relationship of rest and stamina. If your rest drops too low, you will begin losing max stamina and will some succumb to it if you if it reaches zero. And then, uh, basically, there's a comfort buff on your sleeping arrangements. And then there's comfort uh, amenities such as light, heat, and furniture. Increase the comfort level. And higher comfort levels add to varying levels of bonuses to your health and stamina regeneration rate. So, the more comfort, the better off you are. And then, resting requires a minimum comfort level. Building the bedroll under a shelter meets the necessary requirements. And there we go. So, we can have a nap. Nap time. We're just taking a bit of a rest here. Oh! We, we learned how to make a makeshift wood axe. Sweet. Okay. Uh, I think we've... Uh, what is it? Crafting? And then we can make a... Oh, we, we can make a few things. So we can make... Oh, I need more plant fiber. I need more plant fiber, period. So sticks, rocks, and plant fiber. Okay. Can I... Uh, are any of these actual fibery things that I can... I don't... I don't remember. Is that fiber up on the hill there? These guys that look kind of like uh, yucca? Ye flower cape alloy. Aloe. Oh, oh that's, that, that looks like fiber. That's fiber. Nice. We are actually getting a bit of fiber. I'm, I'm trying to stay in the, uh, in the shade, but, you know, it's not, I'm not being very successful at it. Okay, let's grab some more. I'm just grabbing. You never know when you're going to need a bunch of stuff. I'd like to make some tools if I can. Okay. All right. All right. Now, so we need to make... Uh, yeah, they want us to make the axe, pick, knife, sickle, and torch. All right. Um, crafting. Uh, knife. Oh. Plant fiber. Wait a minute. What do I have? What, did I, what was I grabbing? I've got... Crude plant fiber. Oh, that's cape aloe. Aloe. Extract. Ah. 
Yeah, we we'll get into the um, uh, essence a little later. Oh, that's a food. Hunger mitigation five, effect duration ninety, health regeneration, heat resistance. Oh, I'm gonna eat some of that because it's gonna give me a bit of heat resistance, right? Uh, ten percent. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've and you know what? I could even um, I could even have a bit of a berry and stuff like that. We need fiber. All right. Well, I guess we have to pass on. That's that's the game forcing us to move on. Oh, you hush, you settle down. Okay, these I don't think these guys are mean. Hi, hi. <laughs> oh, but I am gonna overheat if I'm not careful. So I gotta get out of. Uh... These guys are fine, even though they they look super creepy. Oh, that's stone. That's the aloe. That is more worrisome. Do you see the guys? The the the. Uh, I don't know about those guys, and I don't know about the uh, the the mechanical floaty robot-y thingamabobbers. I mean, he's not having any problem with them, but uh, I'm not feeling the uh, the need to go over there. So, all right, let's keep moving. We've got this little. Oh, look at that! There's these guys over there. Let's go check out this building. Um, oh, this place looks cool. Oh, well, it's all... Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, a fey chest. Healing potion. Uh, we've got uh, lustrate infusion, poison resistance, healing, and uh, also restful, a slight restful potion. <gasps> I'm taking all of that. That's really, that's a nice, uh, very cool. Oh, and that, that is a, uh, uh, an echo, I think is what it's called, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, is that, can, oh, I can, I think I can climb up because of the, uh, the, 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 the little, the branches and stuff. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get that echo without angering this, uh, uh, robot thing. It's a hope echo. Ah, the veil between us, reflection from the world's end. Uh, Sem Sembungan. I believe this is the location, and this is the, of course, that's the date. Uh, boats depart daily now. Bells filling the harbor. Evacuations are underway with some seeking refuge in other cities. Distant Nightingale draws others with rumors of mechanisms to repel the pale. The journey is long and arduous, though, all while Sita keeps me on the shore, watching as the ships sail into the unknown. I long to see her smile again, the lopsided grin when she brings me a new discovery. The way her hand cradles each relic, her excited retellings, she is so alive, so vibrant upon her return. I would give anything to have her by my side again. So these are little story things, they're little hope echoes. I think we, I can't remember what we get from them when we do, when we find them or pick them up. Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> There's another uh, box. Oh, a uh, charm of the of momentum, restful potion, healing, and a weighted card. Play this card to increase the damage you deal and effe efficiency of your harvest while weighing down your body and limiting. Okay, uh, seems to sit heavily on one's pack, slipping it out of any deck. Fall below. Okay, all right, take all items. There we go. Nice. Uh, can I climb up there? <laughs> Don't these noises make you just sort of nervous? They do me. What are you? Collect. A, a automaton chest. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Uh, I don't remember that. I don't remember anything to do with that. We're going to have to at some point figure out what that all is about. Um, we should be able to get fiber in this little foresty place. Maybe, is this fiber? That's it. This is what we want. There we go. We're getting it. This is the fiber. We've hit fiber land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jackpot. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, this place, it is worrisome. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be attacked. Craft. 
Build, build things like you've not built before. Okay, we're gonna make you, you, uh, you, a torch, absolutely, and a wooden axe, okay. Uh, tools and resources, uh, basic resources can be found, okay. Th these resources can be used to craft items and be found in, okay. Resources upon refining stations, yes. By using tools, you can harvest better resources, special equalities from the realm. Craft higher level tools to harvest from higher level resource nodes. So there is like a tech tree, and it's based on materials that you use. Uh, each tool has a certain damage type. Creatures have varying weaknesses, so there's, you know, different weapons that are better against different uh, foes. There we go. All right, so. Um, whoa! Dude, don't sneak up on me! Okay, first of all, uh, F. Put that away. No! Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> that was not... I just threw the torch at him. I didn't mean to. He's like, dude, what are you doing? Uh, I want to put the torch away. Um, I don't remember... Does, is it just me or do I... Is there like... A, do I get the feeling that there's bad things happening over yonder? Look, do you see what happened? That tree could have been me. Oh. Puck, dude, do we want to talk here? Okay, it I'm. Let's do it quick. My skull that Earth's great citadels resulted from decades of toil. Still, I expected more than that lowly truss of sticks and the haphazard cudgel you now hold. Are you mocking me, Puck? You'll need better woodworking skills than that when we reach our destination proper. It affords the perfect setting for... Well, we shan't ruin the surprise. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let us depart and speak of your ill-favored constructs no more. One final byway of muck and mire, then this path of beginnings shall fork unbounded into whatever endings you seek. All right. Muck and Meyer. So there's the swamp. I think that's what's happening here. Now, I need to, uh, if I hit escape, no, time doesn't stand still. Um, interface, key bindings, uh, back toggle run, blah, 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 crouch, sprint, primary action, secondary, interaction, held, offhand ability is F. Uh, quick bar. Cancel building, chat, chat, command, toggle hunt. Okay, if I do six, you know what? I'm just going to switch to a different hand. I think that solved the problem. Okay, good. Oh, we're at the, uh, we're at the little thingamabobber right here. Man, that, what is he doing? What did that tree ever do to you, jerk? See what I mean? These guys are scary. I don't, yeah. All right. Okay, um, before we go... Oh, a hope echo. Uh, finally, our time has come. The pale surrounds the city, an oppressive wall swallowing the buildings, advancing ever closer. The evacuations have ceased. There is no longer a shore from which to escape. No one knows what, happened when the, what, what happens when the pale overtakes you. As I stand here, the air is filled with screams. As the pale slips, I'm, uh, I'm, I think the, the heat's getting to me here along the streets then silence i want to go i want to go to them to help them but there is nothing i can do nothing anyone can do it is becoming too dangerous to remain okay you know what we're getting out of this place let's just okay that yeah you yep yeah, swamp we're going to the swamp let's go swamp uh, 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 too hot oh and <laughs> We're in. <laughs> I always thought this was kind of psychedelic. Their little uh, Lord loading screen. So, all right. Do 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 do. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So, creatures. Uh, fen rat, le uh, leperidon. Bound Fiend, Bound Vermin, Bound Lamplighter, and Bound Bombardier. Bomba bombardier. Bom bombardier. Bom oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, you get the idea. All right, so uh, these are uh, a lot of these are actually kind of dangerous. Um, I think, is it the Leper Rider? I can't remember. 
Uh, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, this is the swamp. This is where we're actually going to start running into things that don't like us very much. Oh, Puck! Hi! Hi, don't mind- okay, hang on a sec. Uh, we're good, we're good. Uh, let's take a quick look at the weapons. We have a knife. Uh, melee 11. And stamina 5%. Okay. Uh, the mining pick melee 35. Stamina is six. Mm, not much. Okay. And then the sickle is, I think it's like low. It's like 19 melee, four stamina cost. So the sickle's actually not a bad weapon. And then the wood axe uh, is 30 melee damage and uh, five stamina. So the, the pick is good, but it does kind of eat your stamina quite a bit, right? Blocking efficiency is 100%. Oh, so it's a good blocking weapon. So with the same with the axe. You know what? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, these the sickle. It's like whoosh 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 whoosh, right? Uh, the the uh, yeah the pick is whoosh. Oh, so it's it's slow. Is there not was there not any um, discussion of speed? Critical strength, blocking, durability, stamina. Doesn't really talk about speed. I mean, it's obvious though, right? So the, the, the nice thing about the sickle, okay, is that it, it's pretty quick. You know what? We're going to try different things out and see what uh, where we land on, on that kind of stuff. All right, you know what? Uh, fine, I'll speak. If not for Astaroth's decree, this trek would have been as easy as peach pie. We Fey are forbidden from consorting with your kind. And while my amity is yours, it behooves us both to move with caution. But enough prattle. All right. N the bound okay. guard Fey yeah. archways yeah, that yeah. align with temporal realms. As they're already acquainted with your despair, those fiends will emerge when you try to leave this final byway. Yeah. The, this, in this case, we're going to actually have a fight before we, we use the portal. While I know man's impulse is to flee, without pluck, you're sure to expire. Prepare okay. yourself, Realm Walker. All right. Once this fen is within our wake, a fine morsel of knowledge I shall bequeath. Ahead lie relics of humanity's future. All right. Very cool. Okay, so we want to get out of here. Um, I believe that I have two health left. Oh, is that because I... You know what? Um, I'm going to use a healing potion. <laughs> um, health two out of two. Gain 18 per minute. Wow, that is really bad. Okay, and then um, I'm going to eat... Uh, some food. I'm going to maybe eat some of you. Uh, yeah, I, I basically let myself get way too low. So, health, 5 out of 50. Okay, we're, we're in better shape. The, um, the food gives us health regeneration. I'm going to eat more of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't extract. We want to consume. Uh, you can actually put this in your, uh, I think you can put it in, like, slot... In a, you, no, you can't. Uh, eight? No. Okay. Let's not do that then. All right, my health is uh is coming back. Now I did see some uh the little rabbity things go through here, but I think what we're gonna do there's one right there. Ha <laughs> ha! And then you need a knife to to uh. You gotta stab, stab. And then you can get uh, uh, meat, uh, rat meat. It's uh, it's ratalicious. So that's what we we brought ourselves down to. Is we're just going to eat rat. Uh, by the way, it the, the wants me to acquire bones uh, from a tier one predator and a hide from a tier one predator. So we're going to do that. That's the leper radon blah, blah blah thing. Um. Okay. No more rats. No more. Okay. Because what I was going to do is um, I was going to build a, not you, crafting basics, repair, campfire, place, 
Womp. And fill you up with stuff. Add a bit of um, that. And then we can maybe just put a, just a little bit of it. There we go. Ignite you. Okay. And then go to craft items. And then we could do roasted meat. And we've got rat meat. We're cooking some rat meat. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Oh, wait a minute. Do we not have enough uh, rat meat? There we go. There we go. Craft. Okay. We're making rat meat. Yep. <clears throat> That's right. It's a delicacy, all right? You don't have to look at me that way. Do, 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 do. Come on. Hungry. I'm a hungry boy. I need my rat meat. <laughs> Uh, food does give you buffs. And quest. There we go. All right. Um, and then... Nope. Okay. There we go. All right. So that gave us more health. Did you see that? We're now above... We can do... We, we can go higher than 50 health. Okay. Now, um, let us use... You know, I'm going to try the sickle. And let us... Um, we can use the sickle, by the way, to gather fiber. Right? We can also use it as a weapon. And which direction do we want to go? So if we take a look at the map, uh, we could see that there is a portal right over here. Uh, I could put a beacon down, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, is it not on the uh, compass? Okay, well, we can put a beacon down here. I'm going to put a top hat down. So the top hat... Wait a minute. Oh, there's the top hat right there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, let's um, proceed anon. Ooh, what was that? <gasps> Cabbage-ish things. Oh, there it is. That's one of them. Okay, we gotta go. We're gonna go kill one of those. We need its bones. Uh, that's a material that we can mine for uh, resources. All right. We got 83 health. Come on, die! No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Wait, is there another one? There's one over there. There's little rat guys. If you hold down E, it'll actually hoover up all the stuff. Okay, so we have now one and one each of the bones and hide. We want to go and, uh... You know what? We could try using. You know, let's let's try the uh, the big uh, the big oogaluga. Now, where was he? It was over this way, wasn't he? Looking for movement. I'm pretty sure. If we just head towards the portal, we're gonna bump into these guys. So maybe I should. Oh, there he. There's one way over there. Yeah, he's he's way over that way. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the portal. It's that way. Um, we'll bump into more bad guys on the way. It'll be fine. Um, I don't think... Can I... No, I need a higher level uh, pick for, for that. This one will gather stone. Uh, let's grab the lettucey things. You can actually eat these. That's water spinach. Um, gives you more uh, max health. See? There we go. And consume. Okay. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that, but, uh... Oh, wet and disease. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta... Oh, there's one! Oh, did you see what he did? He he attacked a rat thing. Okay, let's see if we can go and aggro him. <gasps> oh, there's more than one. There's, there's, a, there's a family of them. Okay. Oh, there's one over there, too. Let's see if... All right, you know what? We're gonna get ourselves into trouble here. Let's just do it. One down. There's one over there. There was one over to the to this side. Okay, where did he go? Okay. Stabby, 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 stab. Hoover, grab. We got two out of three of each. Okay, back to the. Uh, nope, we're going to the big big oogaluga. Let's go get this guy. Yo, dude! 
Stamina is a big thing in this game. Okay, so we were able to surprise him and, and basically overwhelm him with our super powerful weapon of mass destruction. There we go. Uh, now we need to make a makeshift capelet uh, craft, and then we can make a, one of these guys. Okay, and uh, did I automatically put that on? No. Uh, no. I want to. Can I just equip? There we go. We replaced. So this this is our shoddy. It looks nice if you take a look at the coat. It looks pretty nice, right? But in reality, it's not as good as the one that we just made by hand. So this this coat does uh, maximum health 11, has 5-ish percent across the board uh, in various resistances and 40 durability. This thing's got like 2.5 resistance for only a few things, max health. Yeah, it's not great. Um, so we're going to basically keep that uh, for now. But we'll, we'll, we're going to... Now they want us to make a healing salve and a roasted meat. So... Um, Okay, let's take a look. Healing salve. Um, crafting, cooking, healing salve. Uh, what are we going to need for that? Uh, bones and fire. Oh. Uh, make it out of campfire. Oh, man, do I have to make another one? You know what? Let's get... Let's get to the destination. It's up there on the hill. Um, I'm feeling... I'm feeling spicy. Let's go get this guy. Now, he was aware of us, so this is more dangerous. I'm going to block. Let's see if we can block. Block! Come on. Ha ha ha! Oh! 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 oh, oh there we go! <laughs> that was, um, not great, but that's okay. More, more foods and meats and things. And, uh, alright. We got to get up on that hill. So let's go build the, uh, campfire up on the hill. Uh, looks like there's another another guy here. Let's, let's see if we can let's kill him. Die! 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 Triple shot. Okay, so it takes one shot. To, or three shots to take these guys down. Alright, we got all their goodies. Okay, let's uh, head on up. There's the little... <laughs> sure, why not, buddy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> choppity choppity. <laughs> all right, grab all your stuff. Let's get up on the hill here. This is our little portal. Oh, another Hope Echo. Uh, are we clear? I think we are. All right. Uh, the veil between us. Um, so these are the fabled realms I have heard so much of, and I've spent... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, okay. All right, maybe we'll see if we can read some of these later. Oh, he's he's too busy trying to get out, go after the, the, the little uh, rat thingy. Okay, all right, you know what? Okay. <laughs> the little rat guys are fine. All right, let's, um... Oh, my goodness. Let's see what the knife can do. Shall we see what the knife can do? Ha! <laughs> okay, it's not... I... I... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Craft? No. Build. Build. And we're going to build one campfire. Place a campfire right here. Okay. Add the resources. We're going to add a bit of fuel to this bad boy. Something like maybe not much. We don't need to add much. Let's confirm that. We can ignite it. Whomp. And then we go up here and we can make a healing salve out of bone, which we have. Um, tier one prey, tier one predator. Okay, and fiber. We're just going to use plant, crude plant fiber. Uh, and then I'm going to make a couple um, craft. 
There we go. So we've got a couple of... Uh, oh, we need to make another one. Oh. Okay. All right. We can do that. Um, and craft one more. And we've got three out of three now, right? Is that going to be enough? Wait a minute. Did it? Yes, it did. Okay. See, this is the thing. This is what was confusing before. So when we cook food, you, you actually have to go and get it, right? When you craft healing items, you don't. It just automatically goes in your inventory. It, it it's something that I have. You have to kind of get uh, through your, you know, uh, like understand. Okay, so let's let's cook up some meat. Uh, we've got um, eleven of these guys, so let's just do the three of them. But you know, in reality, I'm going to do six actually. And you'll see, you're, it, when we cook, we're going to have to come back to it, or are we? Is this the case where we're going to actually not have to come back to it? It'll go into our inventory, or do we have to pick it up? This is the question. And I think we should be getting... I'm guessing that Puck's going to show up at some point. So we'll have to see. While this is happening, we, let's go see if we can stab. Oh, wait a minute. Why can't I stab? Uh... Okay, that was a bit interesting. For some reason, I wasn't in a stabby mood. Are you done yet? No. What's your, uh, how much fuel do you have? No, no, no. Light, light up. Okay. You can, you can douse and then reignite it. It'll keep going. It'll continue with its little action. Hold E for more options. Inspect. There we go. Grit exposed. Okay. How about hold E? Add fuel from inventory. Currently, it's down to one. So we do want to add some some stuff to it. So let's maybe add another... Uh, there we go. Okay. That's what I was wanting to make sure that we had enough fuel. All right. Stab, stab. Okay, yeah, we can stab. Stab! <laughs> Look at that. I stabbed the meat out of him. Okay. Do we have... Any, is there anything down here? What, what's going on? What? Okay, are you done? No, four? Okay. And you can collect what you've made so far. Oh, okay, that was enough. All right, 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 right. I made more than I needed. But I like having food, so, you know, I'm okay with that. Um, let's have um, one of you. You can also have go to 8 and then hit F, and then that'll eat the meat, right? So, and then uh, you can go to a different em empty hand. There you go. All right, you're almost done. And then we have to make, uh, we have to acquire essence dust. So that's going to be, uh, here, let's finish the campfire uh, cooking, and I'll, sh I'll show you that. Because this is one, that essence dust thing is really cool. And it's actually, it comes in really handy. All right, there we go. We've got a bunch of meat. A uh, bunch of foods. There we go. Now, the essence dust. So we have to collect essence dust. Everything that you have in your inventory, you can convert to essence dust. For example, I'm not going to need this shoddy coat anymore. I don't think. So I can actually convert uh, five essence dust, dust out of it. Like that. And that actually... Oh, there we go. Use essence dust to restore worn tools or clothing in your inventory. So you can repair... Things that are damaged. So you could repair that. My, I could repair my knife. Right? Oh! And then Puck is back. <laughs> oh, map. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, let's talk to Bud here. You've stolen life to preserve your own. Oh, I did. A necessity, lest it become a vice. One imbibed by men like dandelion wine. What about you, Puck? How many lives have you stolen to preserve your own? Where did you get all this stuff that you're giving me, Puck? Now, I've led you about around. Through bog, through bush, through break, through briar. And forthwith, a temporal realm of abeyance awaits. And so too, Nightingale. First, you must oblige your inner essence and choose the landscape that beckons. All right, ah, I'm... no need.
need for words. <laughs> Only thought. I can imagine either the forest, the desert, or the swamp. I prefer the forest, so I'm going to pick it. The mystery of the halt. There we go. Play your cards, but beware. The bound will storm once the archway rouses. Crack their pitiable little skulls. See, he's got a vicious streak, doesn't Show he? Show no mercy. All right. <laughs> so we have to venture to the Abeyance Realm. So this is going to be like our um, home realm, kind of like where we... Uh, yeah, it's like our home realm. Um, okay, so... Um, this, things are going to get interesting in a minute, and really what I want to do is I'm going to make it so that I have slot 7 open. That's the um, the healing, and I can always uh, hit F if I want to take a healing potion. And then in my other hand, I'm going to have my... Uh, actually, how much dust do I have left? Can I repair this? No, I can't. I'd have to... You can... Oh, I was going to talk about that. So let's say this, um, this prey meat here. I can extract two essence dust out of it. Okay? And where this becomes really handy is when you are, like, having trouble, like, your inventory is getting overly full. You can actually extract dust from items to try to, like, I have a lot of rocks on me right now. I can extract uh, dust out of 10 of them. And there you go. That's going to reduce my carrying capacity or my, my carry weight right now down to 29.85. And I get dust out of it, which then I can turn around and use to repair my equipment really neat and where this comes in handy is if you're out and about and you're trying to get like mine for ores and stuff like that and you don't want some but you want others you can just uh convert the unnecessary stuff into into uh into essence it's really nice okay all right we're gonna go we, i i chose the forest biome and this is gonna be the ab abeyance one so okay are you ready i'm ready Okay, we got our wacky wacky. Remain Ready? vigilant while the realms alive. Okay, this is a uh, building, and while that's happening, we're basically what we're waiting for are the little red. There's, there they are, right there. You see them? Stamina management is a thing. Oh, we got it! Okay, grab all their, the loots we got from them. That's not going to be the last of the, though. This is going to be multiple waves. Okay, where are they? There they are. Yo! Okay, we're getting the different types I, I see. These are the little uh, lamp lighter. Oh, no, these aren't lamp. I got a camera, what they're called. <laughs> oh, out of stamina. Okay, stamina. Get stamina back. Okay. And he's down. Grab his bristle. I'm just running around, scooching. I'm holding down E to scoop up their little bits and pieces. Uh, oh, oh, okay, that's it. Womp. <laughs> Realmwalker, your path forward is winding and full of terrors. There we go. Save yourself. Survive the realms. And rebuild all that has been lost. That's it. So that's the, um, it's kind of like a tutorial. It's the beginning, and it basically teaches you the mechanics of the game, gets you some basic equipment, and dumps you in your abeyance realm, which is kind of like a home realm. Uh, and then from the obey your abeyance realm, you can do things, and you could, you could make your own uh, human-made portal instead of the fey portal. And you can, get, you can get cards, and you can open up portals to different realms, it's it's really it's really good. So it's oh welcome home visit the abeyance realm. So uh, the abeyance realm. Let's take a look at what it has. It has um, oh there is an NPC uh, Wilhelmina Helmina Sasse, and there's Carnute, Pharaoh Swine. Uh, there's Triath the King, Waywolf. Uh, so there's the these are wolves. These are pigs. 
Carnute or Carnute. I can't remember what. Uh, I think that's a. Isn't that like the big. Um, okay, well, we'll, we'll come back to him. There's corrupted Everhart deer. That's what it is. These are the deer. Um, Bo <laughs> Bacox fish goat. Bloodhorn scion of Guyanus. Blot the elder spoil. <laughs> Catapelos. Uh, then there's bound fiends, vermin, lamplighters, and bombardiers. Uh, bombardiers. Bombardiers. That's what it is. All right, and here we are. Ooh, look at that. There's like a thing up there. Oh, 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 puck. Oh, how to play uh, best Bastille of Might. Okay, let's talk to Puck. Ah, we made it. I made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. All right. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey. Good. Left in limbo. Good. Not unlike you. I'm okay How with that. Fitting. And thus, here is yours to put down roots. Ah, my new home! But beware. Uh-huh. Oh. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, Stygian perils. Yeah, bound. Laying foundations will keep you intrepid, child of Earth. Okay, build. In other words, while you play carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds I must scrub for the knowledge I pledged. Oh, okay. So he's going to go and find some more bits and pieces for me, I think. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, we got, we got little, we got mushroomy things. We got fiber, crude fiber. Um, and essentially what we want to do is, uh, if you saw cor uh, correctly, um, uh, build. No, we want to go to build. Uh, if you go to build, there's this estate carn. This is basically it. It sets up your uh, like a, a place for you to a safe zone. Uh, so what we need to do is take a look at the map and see where we are. And let's see what we got. Um, there is a portal over here. There's uh, Wilhelmina is over here. And then over here, this is a Realmic transmuter. I think that's new. That was added in the in the um, early access release um it allows you to convert your realm into something else you put cards into it and it allows you to transmute this current realm in some way based on whatever cards you put in it at least that's what the re like the release notes or some of the uh, documentation said all right well we've gone pretty long um the big question is where do i want to build uh, I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to, I might put down my cairn here at, at the very least. Um, there we go. And then we can now, oh, we need stone blocks for this. Okay. Well, you know what? I think that's something to work on for the next one. All right. I think this is, as I say, a good place to stop. Um, hopefully you, uh, enjoyed that. It is... It's a lovely game, and I like the art. I like the uh, imagination. It's different, right? Like, oh, there's wolves over that way. Uh, there are wolves. Oh, yeah, well, we saw that in the thing. Um, the What he meant by when it... Basically, what will happen is at nighttime, uh, the Scourge will start to spawn in, and they will actually attack you. So you have to be ready for that. Um, there's all kinds of little mechanics in this game. All right. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, y'all have yourselves a great... There, there's a wolf right there. There, You see him? There's the wolf. There's the wolf. I'm going to leave the wolf alone for now. I don't know if I want to build here. Well, you know what? We'll figure it out. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.